All right, my name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and in this video, we're gonna jump right in and install Python. And before we do, really quickly, I just wanna mention, if you have any questions along the way, absolutely feel free to ask them. I spend a ton of time every day just answering questions. It's one of my favorite things to do. I really like making sure you understand what's going on before you move forward. So any question whatsoever, feel free to ask at any time, and we'll get you sorted out. So now, let's go ahead and download Python. So I'm just gonna go to python.org, and this is the main Python website. Now, even if you have Python on your computer, I'm gonna suggest that you uninstall it and reinstall it, and we'll see why in just a minute. But head over to your Windows Start menu, click on the control panel, and you can see this uninstall a program. Just do that, search down till you find Python, and then double click it, and you should be able to un uninstall it like that. When you're ready, head over to the download section, and there used to be two buttons here, Python 3 and Python 2. You can see they've removed the Python 2 button, 2.7 I think because they no longer support that if you need to download that for an old project you're maintaining you could probably find it but it's not on their main page anymore so you can see this is Python 3.6.5 if it's a different version by the time you watch this video that's perfectly fine if it's 3.6.8 or whatever 3.9 anything below 4 and you should be okay even if it's 4 you should probably be okay too so go ahead and click whatever button is here and then just download this anywhere to your computer I'm gonna save it on my desktop and you can see it's not a very big file 29 megabytes and uh, depending on your internet speed it should be very quick so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and run it or you can navigate to your desktop and double click the file there so what we need to do is First, the most important thing, and the reason why I asked you to uninstall your old version, is because we need to make sure that this button gets clicked. We have to add the Python 3. Point whatever to path. And what that does is it basically it lets us run Python from anywhere on our computer. We don't have to be in the Python directory in order to use it, and that's what we need. So make sure that's checked. It's absolutely essential. And then once you do that, click this custom installation. We don't want to do the normal installation. We want to do the custom one because we, we need to make sure that this pip is installed. PIP is an installation program. It allows us to install other things on our computer using Python. So we're going to actually use PIP to download Django and to download a virtual environment thing and all kinds of good stuff. So make sure absolutely absolutely that that is checked. And click next. Uh, next we want to make sure install for all users is checked. Probably don't need that, but that's a good idea, so we'll do that. And the rest of these things we don't really care. And then just click install. It should take a couple of minutes to install. Another thing, Udemy often asked right away to rate the course. They'll flash a little thing on the screen that says, how many stars would you give this? I would really appreciate it if you gave me a 4.5 or a five star review. If the course ends up being terrible, you can always go back and edit that. I'll even show you how to do that later on if you want. But uh, the reviews make or break these courses. A couple of good reviews and you know, somebody comes to Udemy and looks for, searches for a course on Django, my course will show up. You know, a couple of bad reviews, the course just disappears and nobody ever finds it. So I would really appreciate that. At the end of the course, I will bribe you silly for doing that. <laughs> I can't do it now, it's just the rules. But if you wanna shoot ahead to the final video in this course and see how I'm gonna bribe you, you can go ahead and do that. We can see it's installing pip there, very good. And you notice it says 32-bit. Now I'm on a 64-bit computer. There may be a 64-bit version of Python? I don't think there is, but it absolutely does not matter. The 32-bit is absolutely fine. It's what you need. It's the main supported version at this point. Okay, so we're pre-compiling some stuff. Almost done. And we're done. So now we can close this and that's it. That's all we have to do. We don't ever have to actually run Python. It's been added to the path. We can use it whenever we want and we're good to go. In the next video, we'll talk about and then download the text editor that we're gonna be using throughout the course to write our code on and that'll be in the next video.